What's going on, everybody? Stand back with another moonshine talking. Welcome aboard. Hope everyone's having a good one. Uh, I'm actually filming this the same time as I did with the previous album review that I did, but I wanted to bang two out of the way because I'll, I'll probably be out of my element for a little while. Uh, but anyhow, um, so the reason uh, I'm this one I'm doing is it's gonna be for the band. I'm I'm gonna try to pronounce all this stuff as best I can. Um, this is a German melodic black and death metal band. Uh, they are called Canonen Fieber. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Uh, again, it's German. My German is virtually non-existent. I try to pick up a few things here and there while doing the Google Translate thing, but beyond that, um, anyhow, uh, this band is this is the, their second release. Uh, it just came out recently. Uh, another one off of Century Media. It's called uh, D. Or catastrophe. Uh, hopefully, I said that correctly. If not, I apologize, my my German fellow <laughs> folks, for butchering your language. Uh, but again, it's their second one. Uh, it's uh, 12 tracks, uh, 50 minutes long. It's uh, the music and lyrics are all primarily this band as well as another band. Uh, a couple other bands are uh, they're the brainchild of uh, artists by the nome as the an artist by the name of Noise. Uh, he's a, a German um, metal musician. I would just say musician in general. Uh, and he's got this band. He's got uh, Non Esteos, which is another killer band. Uh, I'm going to probably at some point do a deep dive into their stuff and, and kind of talk about them because I, I recently got exposed to their stuff by happenstance, and it is killer. And uh, apparently he just put a live band together, and they started touring some of the songs that they do and that, that he does in that band. And they're phenomenal as well. That's a phenomenal uh, band. And then he's got another one. I want to say it's a uh, Lipta or something like that. I forget what the name of it is. But he's in. He's got a third band that he does. And uh, I've heard people refer to this. Their uh, a lot of their stuff sounds a lot like a, a Migla. I, I'm not really familiar with that band, but that's a name that I keep hearing bandied about in comparison to them. But they're all really good. Good. Uh, Good bands, they got a killer killer sound. But we're gonna focus on Canon and Fieber today. Uh, yeah, what they do, like I said, it's a melodic, mellow, blackened death metal. Uh, they do lots of uh, the vocals are are hostile, and it's sometimes sometimes when uh, when noise really gets in it, they're almost pained, like like just just a lot of a lot of deep sorrow and and a lot of a lot of pain and, and shame in that voice uh but the uh the drumming is like a friggin howitzer uh very catchy they do lots of catchy grooves that they that they mix in uh, on top of just the straightforward uh blasting drums and even the the bass always has like a there's always some nice bottom end going on especially the one song that uh that was that was pretty uh pretty apparent on was it was der malwurf hopefully i said that right it's it translates to the mole and that's a real catchy song it almost has like a like a beer hall, like you'd be sitting there having, it's like almost like a drinking song is kind of the, the style and the, the pattern to it. And, but it's not, I think it's a, a lot of the album is primarily, it, it's based on uh, World War One, And the idea is to try to remember and memorialize the victims of World War One to never forget them. And kind of just basically going about the horrors of war. Uh, these guys are very, uh, <clears throat> They're very anti-war, from what I've gathered, uh, and and just try to try to shed some light on on the horrors of it, and in hopes that people won't won't uh, engage in it. But you know, human nature being what it is, that's probably not going to happen. So you know, it's what's the old phrase: hope in one hand, shit in the other, see which fills up faster. That's kind of how I feel about that. That's my big political take for the day. Uh, but anyhow, but that's a really killer song. Uh, it opens up really strong with. 
Menchin Muley. Hopefully I say that correctly. Uh, it's the human mule is how it translates. And I, I challenge anybody to hear the song and not start screaming. After this song's done, it's, it's a really killer song. Uh, and again, I'm not going to, I'm going to try to not butcher a bunch of the titles of some of the songs I really liked. I really liked another song called Aus Bluten, Bluten Schlacht. I th- again, I'm butchering it, uh, but I think that was called uh, Battle of the Bleeding. And uh, then there's another one, Waffenbruder. That was a really cool one. We got Mitter Cavalria. Uh, that was another really good one. That's got a lot of chuggy riffs in it. They even incorporate some leads in that one and Waffenbruder. Uh, which is, or actually might be another, I'm not even going to try to try to say the name of the one song. Like I said, a lot of this, is, it's all in German. Uh, noise sings in German. All the titles are in German. There's a theme to it. They even, uh, you know, like you saw in the picture, they, they got kind of like, uh, they wear, uh, like he wears like a Kaiser <laughs> general outfit and they all wear masks and ho- hoods and whatnot and wear like militaristic style outfits. Uh, so there's, there's like a whole, a whole gimmick as it were, which is cool. Um, and even live, they do the same thing. Same thing with Nanasteos. They all dress like friggin' like, like they're in the plague and they all dress like, like monks or saints from the days when, when the plague was happening. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, that's a really, really, really good band. Everything that noise does, I, I think is really good. Just the way that, that they shift in mood and tempo and going from the the like the very high pitched black metal wails to the the deeper registers with with the voice uh, with his vocals, and then between the the chuggy riffs and just the fast forward tremolo picking with the like I, dis, again I'll describe it as like howitzer drumming, just very straightforward blasting, just pounding away on the drum kit, and and then incorporating the chuggy groovy bass lines underneath uh there there's a lot to love about this album it's honestly it was one of my favorite things i've heard uh this one i'm gonna give probably uh i'm I'm gonna say it's probably a five out of five this is definitely one of the better albums i've heard all year it it definitely is uh it's good (laughs) it's cool because now it's towards the end of the year and you start hearing all these releases coming out and stuff you know it's like wow the race is tightening folks and you start hearing stuff that's really killer and for the most part for most of the year a lot of stuff was good but not great and now we're starting to get a lot of really great stuff coming out between this one and Nile and the deceased album and Vincent Crowley band's album that came out very early in the year Uh, just a lot a lot of good stuff to like it's going to be a pain in the ass to rank it but you know I enjoy doing stuff like that it's fun for me so anyhow but yeah, this is a fantastic album. I know some people kind of bristle at the notion of when bands are on Century Media. Oh, this, this is the other thing about this band. Like with them and the Nana Steo stuff and the other band, it's really a pain in the ass to get a hold of if you're not uh, purchasing it digitally through Bandcamp. Because I've tried and trying to get it for coming over from Germany it's just the shipping will kill you. And, and I've, I've tried pricing it out and it's like, just trying to get it is such a difficult task. So that's actually why I normally I'd have a copy of stuff that I review. It's kind of like a thing I try to do. And I've been kind of like being lazy and kind of going against my own little weird moral code or what have you. But I didn't even know that, that they were, that they had signed, to Century Media. I didn't know they were releasing anything up until about a week or so ago. And then I heard it, streamed it. I've listened to it a bunch of times ever since. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to pick this up as soon as I can. I kind of wish that I got it at the same time that I got The Bewitcher, but I didn't because I didn't know it was available. But yeah, it's just hard to get their stuff. And I'd really love to get a lot of that non-Esteo stuff, especially Impious and Legacy. Uh, the Last Supper is really good. They've got about four albums, and honestly, probably the only one that really kind of missed for me was There Is No God. 
and that one i don't know just something about it I, i'd have to hear it again but yeah but they're they're just everything the noise does is really really good <laughs> really well done this is no exception i would definitely pick it up if i were you or at least give it a spin if you can go listen to it online and if you like it go pick it up support the band because they're killer uh hopefully they come to the states at some point and do a little bit of touring I know they primarily do festival dates over in Europe, so hopefully that changes. Hopefully they come over this way and start treating us to some of their music. And yeah, and that's that. So that's my review. Uh, hope Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to get out of here, uh, get ready for not only work tomorrow, but then trying to head out of town for a couple of days and hopefully do that and not get disrupted by a hurricane. So yeah, so that's that. So as always... Stay sick, stay heavy, stay brutal. Always tuck your chin upon impact. Don't forget to breathe. Everybody have a good one, and I will catch you on the next video. Later.